Hello all, welcome to session 13 of csharp.net training series. In this session, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to set up startup object for running the csharp code in Visual Studio IDE. So let's get started. When you run csharp code in Visual Studio IDE, you may encounter a problem known as multiple main methods problem. So when you get this problem, what you have to do? Okay, how to resolve this problem and also when you will get this problem. Okay, you have to understand when you will get this multiple main methods problem when you run the C sharp code in Visual Studio. In which case, okay, in which case when you run C sharp code in Visual Studio IDE, you are going to get this uh, multiple main methods problem. And if you get this problem, what do you have to do? All these things I'm going to practically demonstrate in this session, guys. So for that, I'll open this Visual Studio IDE. And uh, if I can show you the project here, okay, this is a project we created under the solution. This is a project and this project is only having one CS file. Okay, so under this first sample.cs file, that is first sample.cs file, we have this code written. And uh, this we have written in all in the previous session only, right? So here we have a main method. Okay, here we have the main method. Inside that method, we have the sample line and we are running the code. So if you run this code, you will get the output, right? If I run this code, what is the output I'm getting? It's properly working and I'm getting the output as Arun Motori. It's working fine. So so far so good but guys uh, what if i create one more file okay here this is the first cs file first sample.cs file we created similarly i'll right click on the project and say add and say new item and uh, here in this dialog i will select this class option okay and uh, i select this class option and say add now another file got created uh, i'll do one thing i'll just uh, rename this file i'll just rename this file right click on and rename i'll just give the name as second sample second sample dot cs file press enter okay yes i'll say yes so that uh, the file name will be renamed okay to second sample so second sample got created similarly i'll create one more say add new item again i'll say I have to select that uh, option guys class option you see instead of renaming again and again you see here here is a place where you can give a proper name okay let's say third sample i'll give okay while creating only i'll just give a proper name otherwise okay every time i'm renaming right after creating i'm renaming instead while creating this class file i'm just giving a proper name so i don't have to rename every time so like this i created some sample uh, cs files okay apart from the first sample we have the second sample and third sample so if I go to the first sample, we have this main method, proper main method is there. And we have, we have some sample code also, that's fine. Then I'll go to the second sample. Here we have the namespace, inside the namespace we have the class. Inside the class, we don't have the main method here. Here I need to create the main method. So blindly follow this code for a while. So public static wide, just say uh, main, okay, main. And here say string, string, Ox, okay, you have to write this code blindly. Okay, you don't have to understand any, any of this code. So inside this main method, I am going to write uh, the sample lines like this again. Okay, so here I'll write uh, console dot. Let me write it properly. Console dot write line, and here I'll give I'll give something like a. Uh, uh, so let's say this is a learning C sharp. Okay, I'm just giving some some other. In the first sample I gave my name to be printed. In the second sample I'm giving learning C sharp. And uh, I'll go to the third one. Okay, I'll say save all. And uh, here third one also inside this uh, class inside this class that is third sample class. I'll just create uh, the main method again. Public static void main string of arcs okay you, you will use it too guys okay when you keep on writing right for multiple files when you keep on writing this uh, on um, by kind of by hurting or whatever it is by remembering if you keep on writing this code without understanding that's fine for a while okay until you understand all this uh, each and every keyword in this code you just practice writing this code okay blindly fine so here i'll again say console dot write line okay i'll just provide this uh, and say so here what I will say, uh, I'll say dot net, okay, dot net, dot net, simple dot net. Now save all, 
and here one more thing i'll write uh, so it's better to write this read line everywhere otherwise you have to run in a different way okay so just write read line just end the main method with the read line so that you can run the code properly uh, the command prompt will stay if you run this okay as i explained in the previous session so now every, every uh, we have three files right first sample.cs file which has a main method okay second sample.cs file which has a main method now third sample.cs file which also has a main method so if i run this code okay if i want to run this just click on start what's happening there were build errors is coming earlier this code was working fine right without any problem this code was working first sample.cs was working earlier but now this time when i run this uh, after creating this second sample and third sample i'm getting this uh, dialog saying that there were build errors would you like to continue and run the last successful build i'll say no i want to see what is the problem okay why these build errors are coming i want to see because despite of the code being written properly i'm getting this problem i just want to find out the actual reason why this problem is coming okay why the build errors are coming so i'll select no you see here i got the error okay the reason for why the builders are coming i got that so instead of the uh, code got run instead we got the error saying program has more than one entry point defined compile with the main to specify the type that contains the entry point okay so the problem here is first sample has the main second sample has the main you see errors are coming error is coming right now third sample is also having the main that's the problem okay there are multiple main methods okay there are multiple files in each and every file there is a main method that's the problem now visual studio doesn't understand which file it has to run whether it has to run this main method inside this first sample.cs or it has to run the main method in the second sample.cs or it has to run the main method in the third sample so multiple main methods visual studio ide cannot handle guys okay that's a problem so how to overcome this problem so to overcome this problem there is a solution guys okay this this is what is called as a multiple main methods problem okay so basically what is main method the point where the execution starts okay in this complete file where the where the uh, program will start running from from the main method guys main method is the starting point where the code will get executed so that's what is the main method but the problem is to get started with this main method this file has a main method again this file has another main method so this file has another main method now visual studio id is getting confused whether i have to run if someone says start here whether visual studio id has to run this main method or this main method or this method main method it is getting confused that's the problem to overcome this problem there is a solution guys okay how to resolve this problem means you have to right click on the project select properties and set up the startup object okay so here the name of the title of this particular session also same right setting up startup object for running the c sharp code how to set up this startup object to resolve this multiple main methods problem i'm going to show you right away for that i'll go to the visual studio ide when we have this multiple files having multiple main methods here right click on the project you see this is a project okay this is a solution and under the solution we have the project under this project we have these three files now right click on the project and select properties the moment you say properties you'll get this uh you see uh the dialog okay this particular thing will come this kind of uh, functionality will come so you see project first demo project uh, name has come and the properties file the properties for the first demo project has appeared here so in this what you have to do is in this you have to select there is an option like startup object right under startup object there is a drop down and you see all the files having the main method are coming here right you see second sample.cs file is having a main method that's why it's coming here third sample.cs file is also having the main method that's why it's coming here all the startup objects drop down consist of the files which contain the main methods okay sample uh, sample one contains the main method sample two second sample contains the main method third sample contains the main method okay all these three contains the main method okay so if you decide to run the first one sample one okay sample one if you want to run so in that case select sample one guys okay here if you see this is a sample one okay i selected sample one so what happens here is if you select the sample one earlier no not set was there that's why I was getting the multiple main methods problem. Okay, uh, we were getting the build errors because startup object is not set to any of these files. Okay, so only one file is there. Visual Studio is kind of clever that it will choose only one file, which is having the main method. But here, in our case, we have three files having the individual main methods. That's the problem. Visual Studio is unable to decide which one it has to run, whether this one or this one or this one having the main methods. Okay, so to decide to help the Visual Studio decide which it has to run. Uh, we have to right click on the project select properties and once you get this uh, functionality 
that is this option under startup object select that particular thing okay if you say sample one the sample one related main method will run okay so select this uh, after selecting uh, you just come back here and uh, just click on start let's see what will happen after setting up the startup object let's see whether it will run this uh, first sample.cs file or not, uh, whether the main method in the first sample.cs file will run or not, let's see. Okay. It's still running, guys. It's building actually. Let's wait. As you can see, guys, we got this uh, command prompt. Uh, you see, uh, with the output Arun Motori. Okay. That means this particular main method in the sample one has run successfully. Now I'll close this part. Okay. Uh, don't forget to close this. Otherwise, you'll not be able to run again. This time, guys, I want to run. This time, I want to run uh, uh, the main method inside this uh, second sample. Okay, the main method which is there in the second sample, I want to run. For that, what I will do is again, uh, if you don't know how to get there, just right click on the project and select properties. We'll get this, and after that, select the startup object to second sample. Now come back here and say simply say start. This time it has to run second sample. You see, learn. Inside this main method, we have learning C that got printed. Okay, working fine. Now, similarly, I want to run third sample means again. I'll go to the properties and uh, then uh, startup object and select third sample option and come back here. And now let's run this. This time it will run third sample. That is dot net. Dot net is printed, right? Dot net is printed. So hope guys uh, you understood how to set up the startup object for running the C sharp code and uh, resolve the multiple main methods problem in Visual Studio IDA. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.